Ann Arbor is becoming. One comes to Ann Arbor and one is aware of being in a separate sort of place, not the run of Midwestern towns. The, the Ann Arbor market, uh, to me, is just a real, real hub of the community. And um, a lot of people come out every week. A lot of people are coming out supporting um, you know, local producers of food. I started coming with my grandparents when I was a little girl, helping them, and then I came with my mom, and now I'm coming on my own. I think the community aspect is what attracts me the most. Uh, you can have such differences of opinion, but it's all kind of blends together when you come to a place like this. Well, WCBN and Ann Arbor are um, to, to my mind, completely inseparable. In fact, this is, this is a very unusual part of the University of Michigan, but the, uh, the depth and the level of creativity is so much more profound here. The people who work at WCBN have always seemed to understand that the imagination is a living being and that the, the imagination should be taken very seriously. And if you listen to anybody's uh, freeform show, and the specialty shows too, because they tend to uh, proceed along freeform uh, guidelines and principles, but generally speaking, the way we operate at CBN is to honor the imagination and to try anything at least once, or maybe 33 times. So I think CBN has made a tremendous difference in the, the uh, cultural environment in this community. The Michigan Theater opened in 1928 as a silent movie theater and operated for 50 years uh, in that kind of glorious form that mixed live show and the cool form of media when it was in some of its formative stages. The architect of the Michigan Theater is a gentleman by the name of Maurice Finkel. He was actually a Detroit-based architect, but he came from um, Russia. Uh, he was a Russian immigrant, and he spent a lot of time in New York and worked in the Yiddish theater. So the, uh, there's a reflection of uh, the Yiddish theater in the early part of the 20th century in the aesthetic of the Michigan theater. He designed it, as he said, quote, a shrine to art. Uh, and his hope was that the theater would be uh, a tribute to the town, a benefit to the town, long beyond its original commercial purposes. And then in 1979, it looked like it was going to be turned into a food court. And the community said, you know, we really don't need another food court, but preserving the Michigan Theater would be a good idea. We want to save this building. We want to put money into it to restore it and to keep it operating. And the community got together and made a decision that they were going to preserve the Michigan Theater, but not only preserve it, but to really make it an integral part of the fabric of the community, and every year hundreds of people, over 500 people, volunteer at the theater. And without those donors, without those volunteers, and without the general community enthusiasm, there wouldn't be a Michigan theater. To come to Ann Arbor is rather like moving and then coming to a membrane, blipping through the membrane, and then finding oneself in a particular sort of reality. The students who return here will find the place physically changed, but it must never, 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 never cease to be a place of becoming.